Professor Milk. Oh. Hello class, this will be my fifth guide. This guide specifically on Kogma. Now, I've been approached by many sites. Skillclass.com, lolcap.net, youporn.org, you name it, I've seen it. They're willing to purchase my guides for hundreds, even thousands of dollars to use them exclusively on their sites. And most content creators would take their money and run. But you know what? I don't make these guides for the money, not even for the fame. I make them because someone out there has to give you guys the real answers. Not the answers you want, but the answers you need. The answers that the pros and other high elo carry lords have kept hidden away. Not only will this Kogma guide carry you out of elo hell, it also reveals some of the techniques that the League of Legends gurus use to attain Nirvana, Elo Heaven. As a Kogma main since late season 5, I'll show you guys what those nasty websites and you porn have been hiding. Thank you for joining me in becoming Godma. I'm Professor Milk. Let's get started. Xiao Wei Xiao, once thought of as the alcoholic of Summoner's Rift, has lost his title to Kogma, explaining his puke based kit. According to his lore, he made some pretty terrible decisions in college, but you can read more about that later. Let's go over his abilities. Q. Caustic Spittle. The Cogster launches a bit of stomach acid forward, disintegrating their adversary's armor by 100% for 10 seconds. It's very crucial that you land this in teamfights in order to shred tanks. This ability also gives attack speed, much like Tristana's Q. W. Bio Arcane Barrage. Kogma's college days weren't all bad, because with all the practice he got from non-stop puking, he was able to tame his secret power to give himself stronger auto attacks that do percent max health as magic damage and have the longest auto attack range in the game. E. Void Ooze. Kogma takes a few spicy shots of cheap tequila and makes a vomit replica of a slip and slide to easily escape his foes. R. Living Artillery. This spell is only for mid lane virgins who want to win solo queue or LCS games. We will not be putting points into this ability until levels 16, 17, and 18. With our build, we will not be using it. Kogma's late game is very easy to play, so let's discuss his laning phase. For the first 10 to 15 minutes, do not even look at the enemy laners. You lose every matchup against every bot lane, even another Kogma, so don't go for any trades under any circumstances. However, you don't want to look weak, so walk up and CS confidently. It's 1941 in this lane and you have to keep your nose out of their business, so look alive but don't make direct eye contact. To help you get through laning phase a bit more easily, I highly suggest having this blonde haired blue eyed airbender for your support. Let's get on to the builds. As usual, I will show you the standard meta pleb builds, then reveal my secret sauce. We have the classic, the time lord, unranked to challenger, early trading, and the milk build. For today's wise words from the pros, we have a pair of very special guests. Potentially the biggest guests we've ever had. Much like wolves, you can typically find them in the middle of the pack. Our first guest, an 80 carry who has enough silver and bronze medals that he could start his own mint. Let me welcome 20% of CLG's bot lane. The man, the myth, the one who gives me the most points on my vein spotting scorecard, CLG Double Lift. At $3 per question, we ask him. Oh, hey to lift. I was crafting this new Kogma build, Bork, Runons, Witsand, Last Whisper, Void Staff, Zerka Greaves. Can I review it for you? He responds, 0 out of 10. That's my review. Don't do that. Man, all these AD carry players are the same. PewDiePie gave me the same answer when he was talking about my Jinx build. They'll only grow as players once they learn to accept new ideas and take pointers from those who are much, much better than them. Our next guest, a more mindful player. One of the few that can carry even the heaviest marksman from the support role. A man that makes supporting look so damn easy. My favorite name in the LCS. Please welcome CLG Afromu. At the same rate of $3 per question, we ask him. $3 and says, hello Mo Mooster. Can you give me some tips and tricks that will help me build Kogma? Here's what I have so far. Bork, Rudan's, Witsand, Void Staff, Glass Whisper, and Berserker Reeves. He responds. Alright, that's fucking awful, dude. What the <laughs> What the fuck? Is that like mid lane or what, dude? Jesus fucking Christ. You on hit Kogma, dude? My god. Well, I don't know what kind of Kogma you are, but AD carry, usually you go like Triforce, IE, into Last Whisper, PD. Sometimes you go Bork. Instead of Last Whisper, into Last into Last Whisper, or BT into Last Whisper, something like that. Mid lane, you go like Luden's Echo, Frontier, etc., etc. Yeah, man, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. You don't know what kind of cog you're playing. So.
And just to think, I wanted to go down to LCS and meet these two. Well, you know what they say about meeting your heroes. Once you meet them, you'll find out that they're just ordinary people that you gave your money to so they can shit talk your Kog'Maw builds that you're trying to use for a video. <sighs> and that was wise words from the pros. Let me show you why this build not only performs better than the standard ones, but why it scales harder into the hyper tank meta. First, Blade of the Ruined King. This is obvious. It synergizes super well with his W, but to get even more shred and more attack speed, so he gets the absolute most out of his bio arcane barrage, we'll need a few more items. Runan's Hurricane. If you've seen my other guides, you'll know that I love me some Runan's. It gives every ranged champion amazing wave clear. With this item, it basically triples the DPS of all other items and damage in his kit, because everything is on hit including the percent health on his W, turning him from a single target tank shredder to an AoE Ebola spreading monster. With Bork, Runans, and Wit's End, you'll be able to 100-0 tanks during your W, because as you auto them, you're stealing their magic resist, giving you more damage on your percent health and Wit's End. The Void Staff is to get more DPS from your Wit's End Bio Arcane Barrage combo. The Last Whisper is to amplify the Bork damage and give you more attack attack speed. This is the answer to the tank meta, especially because Wit's End is the natural counter to Thornmail. Watch as I 100-0 all these fully built tanks during my W, even though they have Thornmail. If it gets to super late game, you're gonna want to sell your boots for Black Cleaver to get AoE Armor Shred. With this build, you have a 100% chance of 1v5ing, making it excellent for solo queuing. And I swear to god if any of you ever play this champion mid, oh, now get out there, queue up, and call AD carry without worrying about playing against 5 tanks. It's free low. Godspeed. Professor Milk. Oh.